It's a beautiful day again, and we are so excited to be with you today um, on Confessions with PLA. Mm-hmm. I'm Titi Lokbadio Boy, PLA's um, most loved, um, compassionate, and uh, most beautiful wife, one and only, forever and ever. Amen. Till you see Jesus in glory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. So um, today we're going to I be like talking that. about a topic that is quite sensitive, yeah, quite intense, mm-hmm. but maybe people even shy away from talking about it. But I think that's what we do here at Confessions um, to just, you know, spark a conversation and hopefully be able to address this. Anyway, before we go further, can you pray for us? Okay, ma. <laughs> my father my god we're grateful for this opportunity thank you for allowing us to come into a space to share thank you for this individual that clicked on this and is watching it and is going to watch it all the way to the end we ask oh god that as we deal with this topic that it would bring healing to us bring healing Amen. to those who are listening and watching Amen. and lord that you your spirit will come and speak through us Amen. and of course touch everyone as well in jesus name amen and lord if we've ever suffered anything don't let us ever go back to suffering it again amen thank you oh god thank in you, jesus lord. precious mighty name we've prayed amen. amen 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 so we're going to be talking today about dealing with emotional damage hmm. the topic seems quite intense so just stay with us um i believe you are going to be blessed today so pastor Leke, <laughs> What what do you hmm. or um maybe I'm going to throw two questions to yeah, you. Right. Number one, what do you think um, damages people emotionally? Okay. Can we start with that? What do you think damages people emotionally? And then when you're done with that, you're going to tell us, give advice on how people can sort of come out of that whole pain, whatnot. Okay, so emotional damages can come from abuse maybe from parents Mm. um from background from bullies in school um from work from relationships Mm. from people that you've actually trusted Mm. um from what you expected from family uh from loved ones uh and and along that line so it's the you know it's probably one of the strongest form of um Mm of attack or illnesses that people can have because there's nothing wrong with you physically in some mm, cases mm. um it's not has to do with just your mind, your, your mind and your mm. internal and that yeah. actually builds up to something greater so if you find someone like uh not even being funny like Hitler, for example as, as going to the deep end as possible it, it would take you don't know what his background mm. is that led him into That's thinking like that mm. So nobody ever went and analyzed what built him up. So anytime you see anyone that is behaving in a, a, in certain, a way. certain way, mm. one should actually have empathy and sympathy because you have to have an understanding that you can't see what the foundation is and what is even below the foundation that mm. has caused this. The person to be that way. I mm. mean, I won't lie. I mean, I've, I've created emotional damage to a lot of people. Ah, a lot, again. A lot of people. No, a lot of people. Time to confess. I'm, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Even towards my amazing wife, if mm. I'm being honest, because mm. I didn't understand certain boundaries in mm. different parts of my life mm. at some at the beginning of the journey. Um, I didn't know what I was looking for or what I was mm. thinking. Um, you can see how I can't look at your eyes because I'm feeling bad for it. And you know, <laughs> I know you've forgiven me. But, you know, because just to see, you know, the, mm. the effect of it. And then, of course, even people that gave birth, mm. um, there is an emotional, if one is not careful, mm. if there's no support system. So, imagine a, a lady um, being pregnant and giving birth on their own mm. and no one was there throughout that whole process. Mm. It mm. can, even those who had people there. I mean, I remember, I remember when we had our first child mm. that... Um, you know, one of the evenings we had to literally give the baby to mom, mm. and I took you out, and we went out completely away, and mm. we went for it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot because stress. you know that 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 evening, obviously, you you went a bit emotional as well, 
and um and i could understand why and then you shared with me very basic things that you worried about would i be a good mom will i be able to cope with this new phase and all of that mm-hmm. you know and thank god for god that even me I, I felt for you and being there to just reassure you that you will be fine mm-hmm. yeah, um you know that just that reassurance after the whole nine months mm. and then you know now we are we are like maybe just three weeks in mm. uh, or two weeks in or even one week then i don't even know and there's this new little tiny individual that depends 100 percent on you 100 mm. percent eat sleep change clothes and care 100 percent um and you know that old dynamics from just being two of us cute <laughs> baby girl and the next thing there's a whole human being that you now have to cater yeah. for twenty four seven, and nobody could undo your child better than you. Mm. So, um, I mean, then imagine the situation where some some people don't have to do it by themselves. Um, mm. That can be it's hard. Mm. That can be a yeah, lot great. for anyone. And of course, that that can also then put some sort of uh situation in your mind because now that's that's where it is emotions deal mm. purely in your on your mind mm. and the mind is the battleground that's mm. where the enemy goes okay um i have to attack your mind first mm. if i control your mind i control everything else mm. Mm. so everything else you see on the outside is as a result of what has happened on the inside um and then of course um one has to be careful one what you allow to happen to you so yes. I'm thinking about it now. We come from a quote-unquote third world country. Some of us, we've, we've been given the opportunity to travel a lot. Some of us have, have even traveled for quite a bit. Um, and then sometimes you go to certain nations and they want to look down on you. Mm. But if you've chosen in your mind, fine, our brothers that have gone there ahead of us, yeah, you know, have probably done some given, things, done some things and given uh, certain impressions, uh, certain impressions mm. about us that are coming from certain particular nations across the world. Let me just be generic about it. And they expect that we are all like that. Mm. And you already, and if you are not careful, you can easily also just yes. slip into that yes. stereotype. Mm. But you can also then just build in your own mind that this is me. I am not Different. that way. And then you can actually be the one that also changed their own mind. Mm. And impressions. On, on, and impressions it. that they have about people of dark skin or from Africa or from just generally across the world, uh, across the board as well. Like, okay, this you know, this one, sometimes they even come and ask you, where are you from? Mm. Because mm. you don't seem to behave. Yeah, you look you look like them, but you, you, look like you, them. you act different. Exactly. And mm. they're like, ah, we did not know mm. that you guys can be this nice. And you're like, well, we are all nice. And then when they even ask, in some cases, like my response is, I'm from the greatest country in the world. And I'm like, ah, where is that? Sometimes they try and even go and mention somewhere else. I'm like, no, Nigeria. Let's be precise. They're like, oh, wow, that's, that's mm-hmm. nice that you come in with that energy. But anyway, so um, individuals that have gone through Hardship. trauma. Trauma. Pain. Pain, rejection, Uh Um, Mm. what's this, Uh, marginalized, Mm. um, dissatisfied, uh, cheated Mm. upon, Mm. um, left alone, Mm. served all sorts of meals from (laughs) full-blown buffets to lunch to dinner, dessert, breakfast, and anything else in between. Mm. The honest truth is one has to go through the process of repairing. Now, there's, there's Bible passages that actually... You know, it helps you. I mean, the the truth is this: we always think we're alone when we are going through it. Yes. Mm. Um, but the honest truth is that's I mean, that's the illusion the devil likes to push out mm. there. Psalms uh, thirty four verse eighteen. Psalms thirty four verse eighteen says, "The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, mm. and save those who are crushed in spirit." Mm. Man, that's that's deep. That's a reassurance. It's yeah. so comforting. Yeah. Yeah. To have that. I mean, I'll be even honest because I've experienced it too. There was a time when they were giving all the uh, youth pastors, um, not all the youth pastors, a, a particular cadre that I went to fight for. Just forgive me that I'm using the word I. Um, and they gave all of them a car. And they didn't even be that fault. They didn't, they skipped me. <laughs> man, that didn't affect me, man. I had to look for a way to snap out of it personally. Um, because I, I, you know, I was like, uh, I, what did I do? What did I do? But 
the one is with the one is close. He didn't even say he says it's close. So rather than complain about it or feel sad about it or put yourself down, start mm-hmm. going, oh, something must be wrong with me. Yeah. I must have done something. Mm-hmm. I said something. Maybe that's why I was mm-hmm. raped. Something is not right mm-hmm. with me. Why am I being picked on? Mm-hmm. You could actually speak to the one that is close to you, like prove to me that there's nothing wrong with me. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things I did. I honed, I quickly took ownership of my heart mm-hmm. and my mind. Mm, before I allow, back. yeah, before I allow the mm. devil to smash into it and all of that. And I asked the one that you are close to me, according to this, um, how come I didn't get anything? And he was like, calm down. They needed to test those cars. So they give those ones the first badge. So by the time mine came, it was a it was an upgraded version of what they had. So they even had to give my own, give me my own silently because it was more expensive than their own. Well, it's no longer silent now. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> So, <laughs> you, <have to. laughs> so, you know, um, so they gave me my car and, and they're like, shh, shh, shh. because, you know, they were meant to treat every of us the same, but there was a delay. So mm. sometimes the delay is actually it's, a blessing. Yes. Yes. Um, what you actually go through is actually to also build you mm. in some cases so that you can help the other people that are mm. coming up behind. Mm. So you can guide the other people that are coming up behind those experiences is like, okay, warn someone else. Don't do this. Don't be mm. in this place. Don't mm. believe this narrative. Don't mm. um, allow this to happen. And of course, um, you know, there's always the one that is the is the uh, the individual that created the issue that is on ground that has now messed someone else uh, mm. someone else up. Um, everybody is also responsible. I mean, mm. one of the great men of God that I listen to, whose name I won't mention because I'm not allowed to do free promo and things along that line. He said something. He said everybody's going to give an account. He said um, the serpent will give an account for deceiving Eve. Mm. Eve will give an account for allowing the serpent to deceive her. He says Adam will give an account. Mm. Most mm. people read that text message and they forget that we've always thought that Adam wasn't there. Mm. Apparently he was standing right there behind her. Why didn't you just stop her? Like, stop talking to this dude. Mm. It's a snake. I named him a snake. Yeah? Um, so everyone will give an account. But the truth is, if you have the one that's done wrong, restitution, as in they are the one that caused someone to do wrong, restitution is to first apologize, mm. help that person become yes. better, and then ensure that that also doesn't happen again. Yes. And teach other yes. people, like, this is how not to fall mm. prey to anyone that has done anything but you know the honest truth is the enemy likes to keep people down yes yes you know, being down yes. allows you to be controlled you just keep wallowing yeah, in that guilt that, that you know, space that you know, shame i mean there's some i mean for some of us that come from mm. uh, um slightly large family you realize that and even the part that i'm from well mm. from my mom's side that side is another story entirely um when you dress up looking good and you're going out Instead of them to tell you that ah, you look good or you are going out, they will say, ah, ah, to if, to to <laughs> And I'm like, why well, just say that <laughs> just in say their own translation? Nice. Is I mean, you look nice, so but they don't want to say that. Yes. Because they don't want you to they know you look nice. They want negativity inside of it too. Matter. Because they, they are not looking nice and they are sitting at home. But you are going somewhere. Hmm. So they want to actually just also just trick Pin your mind you. a little bit like before you go. And you say, you now consider that how to man he won't and learn all the Exactly. You know, they just plant a seed, and mm. words are like seeds that people mm. can drop into mm. you, and your mind is the farm mm. ground where it's planted into. Mm. So you can choose what you don't let come in, mm. Mm. and then you can quickly heal, and then load it with positivity, and and then grow from there because there's so much more. Anytime the devil gets an opportunity to peek into your future, he sees what's going to happen. He starts to attack yes, it from the beginning. Exactly. Like as exactly. much as possible. Exactly. Like, I mean, it's even with Jesus, the same thing. Mm. He's giving birth to, he's like, let's try and find this guy. Mm. Let's kill him. Mm. Let's find mm. where he's in the manger. Let them release a rule that every bo- every child born in this time, she kill them. Killed. So, mm. you know, you had to run somewhere because he could see. He didn't know which child it was. So mm. he goes, let's just attack everybody. Um, and that's that's the thing. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where, you know, fine, an abuse has happened. Mm. Um, the deed has been done. Please, let's start with it. It's not your fault. Mm-hmm. You have to forgive mm-hmm. yourself. You have to forgive God too. Because some people are like, God, what were you looking at? Mm-hmm. Fine. Forgive God. Although he doesn't need forgiveness from anybody. Mm-hmm. But yeah, forgive God. Forgive yourself. 
pull yourself out of mm. it because there's a delay. There's places you're meant to yes, be. Yes. So you say pull them out. Like, let me see mm. what they saw that they're not trying to shield me from. Mm. Yeah, there's a light. Bible says that why would somebody light a candle and put yeah, it underneath the bush? Right? Some people want to intentionally make sure that that your light doesn't Let's hide shine. It. <laughs> Don't let it shine. Nice one. So Amazing. you have to go and grab yes. your candle and, and, and make light it bright. It make it bright. <laughs> put that advantage of a lantern yes, that so is and shielded. Use other, so, and light other candles as well. Exactly. Mm. So that in case any wind blow, you can just go and retouch. Mm. Let me mm. relight and come mm. back. And then mm. we'll just keep going. Mm-hmm. Turn it from a regular light, turn it into electricity. Mm. Turn it to the one that doesn't mm. need the diesel, that uses gas. Mm-hmm. Take it to another level that it will just bump. Solar, it will just be on permanently, <laughs> regardless of their own power. Mm. Mm. And then, yeah, start the healing process. The earlier, the better. There's a ton of Bible passages that, you know, where we, 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 can, we can lean into. Um, you know, this, the wise Solomon said something in, in, the, in the books of Solomon. He said, it mm. wasn't any herbs or ointment that healed them, mm. but your words alone, Lord, mm. which Word heals everything. Mm. So you, you don't have to allow just one part to be healed. You can heal every part. Yeah. And of course, the, the, the other wise man, David himself, he said that even though I walk through the darkest valleys, mm. I will fear no evil because you are with, with me. me. You know, you have the rod and the staff, a form of help me to be comforted and be guided mm. as well. Mm. Um, you know, when he says through the valley of the, uh, 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 the, through the darkness of the valley, this version says, you wonder what you need the staff for because you need to touch the floor ahead of you since you can't see where you are going so that you don't stumble. Yeah. Yeah. And in case there's anything there, you also use it to kill it. Mm. So collect the staff, use it to destroy anything that is, yes. you know, in your path that might want to pull you down mm. because you would come out of it easily without any issues. Mm-hmm. And then you become. Down. You can lose anything and everything, mm. but don't lose your mind. Yes. If you have your mind, mm. you will still come out. Don't mm. stay down. Mm. Mm. Don't stay down. Peter put his hand up. That's why God picked him up and dragged him that you must not drown. Yeah. Mm. And that's where we are. That's where we are. Amazing. Amazing. There's really a lot to take from this conversation today. Mm-hmm. Um, even though you've been down, even though, you know, things have happened, life has happened, people that you trusted have failed you and disappointed you and oppressed you yes it might hurt but don't stay in that hurt forever Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. come out of it god has your back and that future that he has for you you you're going to fulfill it and achieve in jesus name so on to the next hey um, what's your confession confession confession. you have to confess something confession Um, confession. so, so um okay so my confession is that um Uh, how would I put it? So I've had a friend that um, really hurt me. Okay. And so it sort of, it really, really upset me for a while until I had to also sort of snap out of it like, hmm, okay, okay let's move on. Oh, Hurts so- come and go. Yeah, but... Um, Friendships don't come and go. <laughs> no, yeah, so I think that's where boundaries also come in. Yeah, okay. Because again, sometimes there are some people that hurt you that you cannot, you 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 cannot yeah. avoid forever, so to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. You still they will still be in your face. Maybe you work together. They're even your family members, whatever. You know, so they're still there. Yeah. It's you now understanding how you put your boundaries such that you don't let those situations repeat themselves, themselves. again. Okay. Or you avoid such situations that bring about the toxic um relationship, relationship. Okay. so to say Fair so enough. yeah so i think that's that's it all right so um i actually my confession is uh i actually hurt you at some point like heavily and you know i asked for forgiveness and you forgave me but i felt nah, i don't think it's enough then i planned a secret coup <laughs> to take you to paris <laughs> told you we're going for some spiritual retreat <laughs> Uh, you didn't have that anything. That was a wonderful. That that ah. was genuinely surprising. It was a <laughs> lifetime. Oh no, no, Ricky, you see, kid, all at all, okay. 
Ti o si pomo yi. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I, I paid believe. for my sins and restitution took place. I took <laughs> I over. Paris. Jesus has paid for all us. I'm um, more mo to e mo ha de jemi mo die si. Kuro kini e cost me sir. Who <laughs> <It> cost me? <laughs> Okay, yeah. so I guess that concludes our um, conversation today. Yeah. I hope that you have been blessed. I hope that um, God, I believe that God is going to take absolute control and heal you from whatever it is that you're going through. Amen. And God Amen. bless you. Stay blessed. Stay, Stay blessed. Up. See you at the next okay. one. Come ready. <laughs> we still have a lot to talk about. Yeah. With uh, confessions, with PLA and... Uh, PTA. The better version of PLA. Yeah, the be- way better. <laughs> way better. I'm not even going to argue on that one. Final as well. <laughs> Ciao. Bye, everyone. <laughs>